Hey guys, it's Kai and I'm back with another video. I took so long to start filming this. It's four o'clock. Oh my gosh. I woke up at like 11. That's a lie. I woke up at like 12 p.m. today because I went to bed late because I was talking to Henny. Anyway, <laughs> I'm Kai. If you're new, welcome to my channel. This video is gonna be kind of like different, different from the others. This segment is called uh, Tea Talk. <laughs> tea Talk with Kai. Why am I drinking tea? It's not morning. Don't ask questions. <laughs> it's 70 degrees outside and I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt. It was actually pretty cold last night. It was like 53 degrees. It's around 50 and it was pretty chilly. I'm supporting Jungkook because he's a meme. Memes are life. Uh, I actually filmed, I filmed a video last week or something but I didn't upload it because it was out of focus and it kind of triggered me so but if you want to know what it was I was pranking my friends and telling them I was going to America and like not coming back I'm going to America in two days and I'm not coming back I don't know I've never done a video like this I want to explore I have a few topics here that I want to talk about I feel like this allows me to get more comfortable with being on camera the first thing I want to talk about maybe would be right now I'm having a crisis that's nah, not that much of a I'm being extra. A lot of you may not know this, but the reason why I did begin homeschool is because the eighth grade was tragic. Well, I mean, the school had so many problems. Yeah, I'm about to expose this crusty school. Mm, mm. Anyway, I forgot what I was talking about. Hello. Are you sleeping? No. Oh, are you okay? Yeah. Okay. Did you do the poem? Yeah, I mean, it might be trash. It's fine, at least you tried. Would, would you want me to read it out loud now? Yeah. M-H-I-S stands for, wait a second, I have it written down. You know you just woke me up. I asked you if I just woke I you up. Know, I'm sorry. M-H-I-S stands for manure has its satisfaction. <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh, so ass. So we had like three principals. The same principal that got fired and like left the country, I think he was deported. He fired so many teachers, he was petty and uptight. Like some of them were fired and then others just quit because they couldn't handle him. Once he was fired, we had this gap where we didn't even know if our vice principal was our principal, it was just confusion. So we had like, let me see, two Arabic teachers, then we had like four science teachers. Oh, I forgot his name because he's so relevant. <laughs> Rip. And then there was this other teacher, she was from Bora Bora, and she was like our substitute, but not really because we didn't even have a science teacher because our actual science teacher quit. It was just chaos. The beginning of eighth grade, we didn't have a math teacher. It was this guy that was actually a coach. His name is Mr. Garrett. My friends, if you're watching this, a lot of you have heard this story. He got on my nerves. Mr. Garrett. Oh my gosh! First day of school, we, you know how like you have to introduce yourself to the class. Mr. Garrett was like, oh, okay, what's your name? I was like, oh, I'm Kai. And he was like, oh, hi Kai, where are you from? And I was like, oh, I'm from Florida. And he was like, oh, I don't like Florida. And I'm like, did I ask you if you liked Florida? We're not, this is not a bonding session. So I'm homeschooled now because eighth grade was like tragic. Here. The schools are so bad. There's Alien English, but I can't go there. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, is that the schools in Florida are bad. And I, I want to go back to school in America, but then again, I don't really want to because in America, kids don't really act their age. <laughs> they want to grow up so fast. I don't want to be in that type of environment because it kind of stops me from like, you know, being, not being myself, but kind of stops me from opening up a little more to people because I'm super weird, right? And my friends here are super weird too. So I feel like I can bond a lot easier with them. This is, this is like it. This is basically, I finished my tea. So my cousin Devon, yeah, he came to visit and I wanted him to see the school. We walked in, it was a great time. And so yeah, we kept walking and then we went up the stairs because I was gonna show him the pool, right? And then this lady, um, let's, I'm gonna call her Miss T because she triggers me. So Miss T saw me. She was like, um, who are you with? First I'm thinking, 
hmm, who am I with? And then she was like, do you have a pass? And I'm like, do I have a pass? I don't need a pass. It's 3 p.m. School's over. She was like, uh, I'm gonna have to escort you outside. And I'm like, what are you talking about? She was escorting us like we were gonna like plant a bomb and blow up the school, which I probably would do. No, I'm just kidding, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. And then she was like, oh, the security is different now. I don't know how it was when you were here, but like, it's different. And I'm like, um, hold on a second. It's been one year since I left the school. The security of the school doesn't do anything. They sit near the door, they wait until someone comes in, they get up, they open the door, and then they wait until like the school's over to close the gates. If they were, they would have escorted me to the front and told me to get a visitor's pass, which you only need during school hours because we're not disturbing anyone, so why do I need a visitor's pass? This never happens. First off, Miss T, this is your um first year here at, at this school. I was there for four years and nothing changes. But if you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe for more content. And yeah, I got kicked out of my old school. It was a fun time. Anyway, stay in school, don't do drugs, and I'm out.